Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing my go-to girls night out smoky eye. I did snapchat about this maybe a week ago and a lot of you guys wanted to see how I created my go-to every time I go out. Like I like to just wear this smoky eye. I think it's super easy. It complements every single like eye color. It's very neutral like color wise but I feel like I just like really smoky eyes when I go out I just think it makes you look a little sultry a little bit sexy and I love a nude lip I love pairing it with a nude glossy lip like I feel you guys know nude lips are definitely my thing so this video um, I've been fiddling with the camera settings and let me know if you guys like the quality of this bit video better than some of my other tutorials just let me know I'm trying to fiddle it or fiddle around with it just to see what settings I like better and which ones that you guys like better also I really kind of wanted to bring just some bad news into this for the summertime I will only be uploading once a week and that is only because I will go insane if I don't working five days a week and then uploading two days a week I'm working seven days a week and that's gonna make me go crazy especially in the summer when it's warm and it's nice I don't want to be sitting inside filming all the time like I love doing it but I don't want to be doing it 24 7 I hope you guys like understand so what I need from you guys is to let me know which day you guys like better Sundays or Thursdays which one works better for you guys let me know um, down in the comments and I know everyone's not gonna agree on one day but the majority will win so let me know what you guys think because obviously I want to upload on days where they're more convenient for you guys to watch I feel like that's the point of this that's the point of YouTube for me is to please you guys so without further ado if you guys want to see how to achieve this makeup tutorial then just keep watching Hey guys, so we're jumping right into this tutorial, and we're using Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow in Orange Soda and a Sigma E40 to be applying this with our transition shade, and we are being a little bit smoky and dramatic today, so we are going to be applying this inner to outer corner, and then once we have nothing left on the brush, we're going to blend it up to the gods, because I wanted this to kind of be like a blown out smoky, and that's why we're doing that. And I really like this brush for my transition shade. It just is very fluffy and very soft and gets everything where I need it to be and blends it out flawlessly. So now we're going to be taking Anastasia Beverly Hills Dusty Rose Eyeshadow, which is like a pinky mauve tone eyeshadow, which I'm obsessed with. And I'm using a Sigma E38. This is similar to the E40, but it's just a little bit smaller and a little bit more precise. So since I was going with a little bit of a darker color, I wanted to kind of focus this more in the crease. I didn't want it to be like too sharp and defined, but I wanted it to be more than just applying it with like a big fluffy brush and then I'll take the E40 and just blend those two together because guys blending is key with any single makeup look so just remember that blending is key so take your time and then we're going to be taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow in red earth this is kind of like a pretty like brick red brown kind of it's actually so pretty I love warm tones I love warm browns I love warm purple browns like I anything that's red I'm clearly on top of it or I own it or I'm going to own it like I'm very big into like warm shadows plums so yeah so we are just going for a smoky eye today so that is why I'm kind of going in with a couple different shadows and we're using the Sigma E 20 five for this which I love this for crease work guys it's very precise and I think it just makes my life super super easy and we're gonna taking these beauty mark shadow and this is like a purpley brown which I love it's more like that maroon color and I'm obsessed and I'm just applying this in the outer corner and then I'm gonna drag it slightly through all the way into my inner corner because we are doing a smoky eye I really did want this to be as dramatic as blown out as smoky as we could possibly get it so that is why I'm going to my inner corner if you don't want to if you guys have close set eyes you don't have to bring in the inner um the shadow in the inner corner that's just going to make your eyes look a little bit closer together so you can kind of kind of skip that step if you guys have close set eyes and then we're going to be taking the Sigma E38 and a little bit more of that dusty rose shadow and just taking it and blending it out because we do not like harsh lines here on my channel people and you know it and we're taking these three shadows right here which is Pink Champagne, Peach Sorbet, and Glisten by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and an Anastasia number 12 brush, which is very similar, like, I mean, identical to the MAC 242, and I love this brush for shimmer eyeshadows for my lid. I just think that it actually applies them beautifully. The pigment's amazing. Like, sometimes if you apply it with a fluffy brush, like, you're not getting the pigment payoff that you want, and you're getting tons of fallout, and it's just going everywhere. 
But this brush is amazing. It is actually meant for concealer, but screw that. Like, use you could use this for whatever you want. You can carve your brows out, whatever you guys want to use it for. But I'm obsessed with using this for my brows. Like, I just love it. And then I sprayed my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus, and then I'm just going to pack the color on. And as you guys see, I'm kind of just patting it and building up the pigment because I wanted it to be metallic as ever. I really did want to be a little bit more dramatic because this is a night out. This is what I wear every time I go out, and I like to be a little bit more on the dramatic side. I mean, I hope you guys aren't surprised. And then I'm taking this pencil brush from Sigma and Noir, which is the blackest eyeshadow I've ever used, and this is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going to take it in kind of like a V. So I'll start at my lash line, bring it out, and then bring it up into the crease, as you guys see I'm doing here. It's more like a C than a V. But then I'll be taking the E25 and a little bit more of that Beauty Mark shade and kind of just going back and forth, blending it out, adding more black, blending it out, adding more black. Blending takes time, guys, especially when you're working with darker colors. You always want to make sure that, I mean, I like my pigmentation to be very saturated. I like my blacks to be black and my browns to be brown. So that's just my own opinion. I really do like to take my time with blending, adding color, and blending it out. Because every time you blend, it kind of takes away a little bit of it. But that, I digress. You guys know I'm a blending Nazi. And then we're just taking some mascara. You guys know we're going to be applying false lashes. I didn't do it on camera, but they are the Vegas Nate Grand Glamour Lashes. Those are my favorite. I probably have eight pairs of them. Yeah, so there we go. And now we're on to skin, and I'm taking the Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer in Smoothing, and I'm going to be applying this in all the areas where my pores are huge, which, oh, is my whole entire face. Don't worry, guys. Um, Sorry if my voice, I feel like I'm losing my voice, but we're just going to keep trucking it through this tutorial. And then I'm going to be taking the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in Y245. I feel like I haven't used this foundation in so long. I've literally been so obsessed with my Estee Lauder. But I love the way that this looks, as you guys see. <coughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. As you guys see, this looks beautiful on camera. It's absolutely stunning. I love, love, love blending this out with a beauty blender. I just think that it really shears it out, but it also keeps you at a medium coverage. This is definitely not a full coverage foundation. Definitely not compared to my Estee Lauder. That's full coverage. This is definitely a medium coverage foundation, but it's great for HD photography. So if you guys are going to be in a wedding or you guys are going to be taking pictures or prom or whatever, this foundation is life. If you have oily skin, just apply an oil control primer before and you'll be fine. And now I'm taking um, a YSL Touche Cla, and I bought this so long ago and this was my first time using this on camera. I don't know why, um, but I just thought I would use it, be a little bit bougie. And I really kind of like it. It's very brightening. Um, I don't know if you're supposed to use your concealer over it, but I kind of like this just as like a highlight. It reminds, reminds me a lot of the MAC Prep and Prime. Prep and Prime. And then I'm going to just be taking a damp beauty blender and blending that out. And as you guys see, it does leave a nice highlight. It's not too yellow. It looks really, really nice. I will leave the color down below if you guys are interested in it. You do not have to go out and buy this. It's a very expensive. I feel like there was no need. I just wanted to try it out. You guys know in the makeup community, we always want to try things out. So, but I kind of like it. I really does brighten underneath my eyes, but I think I want to try it maybe with like concealer and then put the, um, Touche Claw over it just to kind of brighten up. So I'm going to try to work it out and I'll let you guys know like my final thoughts and maybe you guys will see it in a favorites video if I love it. And then I'll be taking the e.l.f. blush brush and a little bit of that Laura Mercier translucent powder and just setting that under eye just because I wasn't sure how this was going to be. So I wanted to set it immediately so I didn't have to worry about any like creasage underneath the eye and like looking like really crepey because I really hate that look, especially underneath the eye. So I like to just set my concealer kind of immediately so then I don't really have to worry about that. And then I'm just taking a big brush and that Laura Mercier translucent powder, setting the foundation because it needs to be set. I mean, you guys know that. And then I'm taking the NYX brush and the Anastasia contour kit. We're just bronzing up the skin. You guys know how this is. I feel like my forehead was a little bit more orange than I wanted it to be. I don't know why it was orange. I don't know what had happened, but whatever. We're going to just, we're going to make it through. And then I'm just going to be contouring my cheeks and bronzing them at the same time. I didn't do any crazy contouring. Like I just kind of bronzed my skin up and it kind of just contoured my face at the same time. That's kind of just how I've been doing my contouring lately. I really haven't liked the whole structured contour thing like I used to like. So I'm just kind of bronzing, contouring, just killing two birds with one stone. I hate that saying, but it's kind of what we're doing. So yeah, so that is why I am doing that. And then I'm just going to be taking the Laura Mercier translucent powder and cleaning that up because I am a crazy bitch and I literally am so messy with 
every single product that I use all the time. But I always like to bake underneath my contour just to kind of clean it up and make sure that the foundation there kind of like stays a little bit more. And then I'm taking this NYX Ombre Blush, which I am obsessed with. I actually really like it. I think it's so pretty. I wanted to do a peach blush today because I never really wear a lot of peach. Um, and somebody on Snapchat, one of you guys, um, told me that I should do a peach makeup tutorial. So that kind of inspired me to use this. And I'm just using a dual fiber stippling brush, which I've been loving. And then I'm going into... I don't even know what mineralized skin finish this is from MAC. I bought it two years ago. I think it's blushed bronze or something. It is a little bit dark for me right now, but we are just going to add this on top of the cheekbones. And then I'll be taking the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Luminous Light in the Morphe M501 and highlighting the tops of my cheeks because you guys know I love to be dewy. That's just my thing. I really, really love dewy skin. And I feel like this is the most natural, beautiful highlight that I own that's not too like glittery and glitzy and it's just natural and it looks like you're glowing from within truly. And now onto lips. And we're going to be taking Max Honey Love. And this is my absolutely go-to lipstick for when I go out. Ask all my friends. If you see me in a picture and I'm out, I am wearing this lipstick on my lips with a gloss over it. It's just my thing. I love nude lips and I love this lipstick especially. This is the only lipstick I have ever had that I actually am in love with. That I like literally have almost used the full thing. I have so many lipsticks and this is the only one that is like a tried and true for me. And that's just kind of like my thing. Like I really like this nude lip on me. And then I'm going to be taking Grande Lips, and this is just a plumping lip gloss. And it's just, an, it's actually supposed to be clear, but I've been using it with this lipstick, so that's why it's kind of turned the whole tube this color, but that's fine because I actually love it. And I'm just going to be applying this just to give my lips a, lips a little bit of a plump because, you know, I love, like, big lips, whatever we already know, but I love this lip gloss. It is doesn't give you that Tingy, tingly feeling like stinging like a bee. I love it, but some people don't, but that's your own preference. And then we're all done. I love you guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you guys all in my next one. Mwah.